Hi everybody, I'm Ranger John. Hey, I have a question for you. How do you move? We as human beings have arms and legs that allow us to move the way that we do. But what about dinosaurs? Unfortunately, we didn't live during the time of the dinosaurs to know how that happened. But studying the fossils here at Quarry Exhibit Hall, here at Dinosaur National Monument, allows us to see these fascinating creatures and how they were built and how they moved through the world of the Jurassic 150 million years ago. This is the Western Fence Swift Lizard. Notice that it's in a splayed position with its elbows out. Could you move like this all day? Do you think a dinosaur moved this way? Lizards come from a group of reptiles much different from dinosaurs. But 180 years ago, when scientists were just figuring out what dinosaurs were, like in this footage from a 1922 silent documentary called Monsters of the Past, they thought they were just that, giant lizards. When we look at a dinosaur, like the skeleton of this Camarasaurus here, we notice that its limbs are directly underneath its body, moving more like a mammal than a reptile. Why do dinosaurs move this way? Well, it's all in the hips. Dinosaurs have hip bones. You have hip bones just like my friend Mr. Bones here. But the ones dinosaurs had were a little different, and unlike us, dinosaurs don't always have the same hip bones. Two dinosaur types are Sariscian and Ornithischian. Sariscian means lizard hip dinosaur. It includes theropods like Allosaurus and sauropods like Diplodocus. And their hip bones look a bit like a tripod and they allow these dinosaurs to crouch comfortably when standing upright. The other group are the Ornithischians. This includes dinosaurs like Stegosaurus. And as you can see, the Ornithischian hip bone looks a little bit like a bicycle seat. And it allows for a lot of room, especially for the digestive tract on some of these dinosaurs when they're eating all of those really hearty, tough-to-digest Jurassic plants. It should be noted that bird hip dinosaurs are not ancestors of modern-day birds, and lizard hip dinosaurs are not the same as actual lizards. This is just an old method of looking at these dinosaur fossils, and it's more based on how these dinosaur fossils actually look. Another way scientists think about dinosaur locomotion is to look at animals that already live today. I'm going to show you a few examples. And I'm also going to show you how you can move like a dinosaur at home. So, watch for the dino ranger behind me and feel free to channel your inner dino. Let's look at long necked Diplodocus first. Look at its long pillar-like legs and its gigantic body. It was one of the largest land animals of its day. What's the largest land animal living today? If you said elephant, you'd be correct. Now remember, you can join us at home. How does a Diplodocus move? Elephants don't move very fast, and Diplodocus probably didn't either. They moved in slow, long, gradual strides. Next is Stegosaurus. Now, Stegosaurus moved a little bit faster than Diplodocus. But it was still as big as a school bus with tall plates on its back. It's really similar to an animal like a porcupine which waddles on all fours when it moves. All the while, as it's moving, it's swaying its hips back and forth. So remember, when you're moving, remember to wiggle those hips. Pretend like you have a tail with tail spikes on them. Finally, there's Allosaurus. What kind of animal does this remind you of? It looks a lot like a bird, especially an ostrich that can run up to 40 miles per hour. Allosaurus may not have been that fast, but with its long striding legs and tail to guide it, 
this carnivorous dinosaur was pretty fast to catch up with the large plant eaters of its day. We hope this has been a moving experience for you. And we hope to see you soon here at Dinosaur National Monument.